The Royal Society is Britain's National Academy of Science and exists to recognise, promote and support excellent science. At Royal Society Publishing, we see our role as validating and curating the scientific record to make it as reliable as possible for others to build on. In 1665, we launched the world's first science journal. And since then, we have published some of the most eminent researchers in history and some of the most important scientific discoveries. Today, our 10 journals continue to publish high quality content across the full range of science. Some of my areas of interest include comparative physiology and behaviour. I developed an idea for a short review on alternative statistical approaches to the p-value. Biology Letters is a short format journal and that was absolutely suitable for the article that I wanted to publish. My research area, which um, I'm interested in, is uh, broadly speaking materials chemistry. In 2017, my colleagues and I have published a paper in the Royal Society Open Science Journal about a study of a specific zeolite under compression. It was easy to submit to Biology Letters. I didn't have to run to a certain format in my Word document. I really like the multidisciplinary approach of the journal. I think this is the way in the future science will be done. And I think it's good to see publishing moving that way too. The peer review process for Raw Society journals is very rigorous. And within just a few weeks, I'd heard back from the journal with their response. The purpose of the rigorous peer review process is to help scientists improve the quality of their paper as it goes out to public. So people should not be put off by the peer review process, but instead welcome it as an opportunity to improve their paper and maximise the audience for that scientific work. It was nice to see that the editors took time to find the right referees who actually understood our paper and gave us really uh, good criticism to improve the paper. The Royal Society will always treat your work with respect, they're friendly and they'll give you strong feedback on your submission. The paper was very widely publicised by the journal and by the Royal Society. After uh, the paper has been published, it actually led to two collaborations with two completely different groups who I've, I haven't worked with before. We would love you to submit to our journals and we can offer you high quality peer review, we can offer you rapid decision times, and we work closely with our authors to maximise the publicity and impact of their work. I would encourage my colleagues to submit to the Royal Society journals because they are multidisciplinary, they're fast, they have very rigorous peer review process and they have open access options. At the Royal Society we want to encourage the most exciting and innovative new science. We want to find the next Rosalind Franklin and Isaac Newton and we strongly encourage you to submit your work to Royal Society journals.